Happy New Year and welcome to Lessons from the Trenches, the first one of 2022. Well, one of the things I've already learned this year is something that most sellers have probably experienced, and that's going through the RFP process. It's one of those things where it's always that balance of, do I even take the time to respond to this because I know my odds are not very good of winning? At the same time, it would be great to add a a good deal to your pipeline, someone that you know is looking to do something along the lines of what you do as an organization. It's always good to be responsive to things like that. Well, one thing that I learned and was reinforced by a call I had actually this week already regarding an RFP is have a personality. I mean, so many times these things are so robotic and there's so many rules and it's really this dog and pony show But if you bring a personality to the table, oftentimes that excitement, that enthusiasm will resonate to the folks on the other end and you can start to draw out their personalities. Win or lose, it's going to make the process a whole lot more enjoyable than just going through the motions. And I think at the end of the day, it is going to give you a better chance of winning and will ultimately give you a little bit of insight into what it's going to be like working with these people. Because anytime you're in sales, you're trying to figure out fit, right? They're trying to figure out fit, you're trying to figure out fit. And I think having a personality, especially in an RFP process, is one of those things that can really help you identify fit. Hope it's helpful. Happy New Year. And let's get back at it in 2022.